Hey, good time. Thanks, by the way, for your podcast. It's so helpful. I had a question. You are trying uh, to explain the time blocking method uh, for time management. But some of the time, uh, we need our partner cooperation to implement that. Do you have any special suggestion to help us with this? Be the best version of yourself, Mama. I'm Mahsa Rezaei, and welcome to Mama Nest, a nest for mother moms who are eager to achieve a simpler, more intentional life. In this podcast, we're going to rewrite the script and reinvent the culture of motherhood together. Remember, becoming a mother is the beginning of our prosperity, not forgetting our souls. A fulfilled, healthy, confident and productive mom is all we need to be to guarantee our family's future. I'm on a mission to make you feel empowered and less overwhelmed. We'll focus on productivity, parenting, mindfulness, minimalism, sustainable lifestyle, financial awareness, besides family wellness. I'm here to help you broaden your horizon and gain clarity on showing up as your best mama self. So let's build you up today. Let's dive into it. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Well, this is officially the first episode of Tip Tuesday. Tip Tuesday episode is going to be published obviously on Tuesdays from now on and it's going to answer your questions. So if there is any question that is occupying your mind from now on, you can go to our website, ask your question, and I'm going to answer it here in the podcast. Maybe your question is a lot of other people's question too. So so together we're going to spread our knowledge. Together we're going to share the answers and a lot of people can reap the benefits of that and you know this is a kind of win-win relationship because I myself as um, the person who is the host of this podcast and is really really concerned about your challenges uh, I'm going to be able to Uh, get to know you even more you know uh, it increases uh, the chances of interacting with you and uh, it will help me to get to know you more and it will provide a more in-depth knowledge of your challenges for me and uh, you know what is better than that and for you it is the opportunity to uh, ask your question maybe some of the times Uh, the first way to begin to change is to ask questions you know uh, we had a kind of Instagram post the other day and uh, I have posted a quote it was asking questions the first way to begin change and that's totally true you know some of the times we are hesitating to start uh, we are just waiting and waiting and waiting to just get to know that knowledge in order to start but maybe we can ask a question uh, from the perspective that we don't know in order to help us to start sooner because uh, if we don't start we cannot really succeed so today for the first episode of tip tuesday we have a very juicy question from one of you uh, which was so near and dear to my heart it was so to the point and i was really uh happy to get that question you know i've just announced the tip tuesday to the the local uh, moments english academy groups and uh, some of you really popped a brilliant uh, set of questions for me that i'm going to cover in the next uh, uh i mean episodes of tip tuesday for, so for the first one as you have listened in the beginning of this episode some of you asked me that how you can trigger collaboration uh, with your partners uh, especially in the method of time blocking so for those of you who are not familiar with time blocking time blocking is a flexible method for time management that we have proposed in episode number 15 so if you don't know anything about that you can go and grab and just binge listen those episodes of 15 16 and 17 but you know most importantly episode number 15 covers 
that uh, concept. So in that concept, we say that for uh, a kind of more manageable and logical way of time management, we need to block our time uh, and uh, we need to categorize our tasks in a way that are more related to each other and put them in different blocks of time with this main intention that in each block of time you're going to concentrate on just one category of tasks for example here in Mama Nest, we offer a five time block system. So one of the time blocks, for example, is morning time block, the other is setup block, the other is work block, and the other two are a family block and nighttime block. So in these blocks of time, which is, by the way, so uh, flexible and you can define your own time blocks and these are just our suggestion in Mama Nest. So you are going to just concentrate on specific category of tasks. For example, in the work block, work time block, uh, you just need to concentrate on something related to your profession or your studies. I mean, the group of tasks that you can do in a block of time without being worried about your children, without being worried about your family, without being worried about your home. So in this time of the day, you can just uh, concentrate on your works and it will increase your productivity in a very good way. So this is the definition of time blocking and you can get to know that more in depth in episode number 15. But uh, one of the really to the point questions is that how you can trigger collaboration between your partner and you for just implementing this method of time blocking. And you know, this was so to the point because it really happens that after trying to implement this method, you will understand that you need the collaboration of family members in order to implement this method. Because for example, if you defined uh, the work, work block time for yourself, but if you just keep it to yourself and no other person in the family knows about that or if you do not really tell them about the challenges that you're facing in order to implement this method, so uh, you cannot really succeed in implementing that. So what can you do specifically to engage your partner? Uh, in the first place, I want you to plan your week with your partner. I know that maybe your husband, your partner, or uh, someone who, who is uh, I mean, living with you at home may not be really interested in, uh, in sitting with you and planning with you, but you can do something in order to, to make this environment a, a kind of lovely time for both of you so uh, that she or he would be engaged with you more. So as I told you, you need to plan together, but um, he or she may not be interested in planning with you. So I offer you another suggestion, which is a complimentary suggestion for the first one, and that is uh, creating a family meeting routine for your family. We have talked about these concepts in workshops of Mama Nest, uh, specifically in the Attain Your Best Self workshop that you can take part in it every month. So it is monthly held. And yeah, at that workshop, I've talked about the family meeting and I've talked with you about the necessity of making this family meeting a routine. Family meeting is a space of time and place in your weekly schedule that you can plan for it in advance and then at that time you should do something which is so interesting for other members of the family too for example uh, you can call it a pizza night or you can call it everything that is interesting for your family members even for example going to uh, a picnic or anything and at that time you can talk about your challenges you can talk about the space of time that you need in order to focus on your works you can talk about the boundaries that you need to set uh, in order to implement this time blocking method with your family members please be extra careful about this fact that it should be something interesting for all of the family members. So you cannot tell that this family meeting is a kind of meeting that everybody is on the table and everybody has a, 
a pen and paper and they want to write what you are telling you know that day will never come that everybody really pays attention to what you are telling so you need to make it interesting and at the same time you need to just talk about your expectations your boundaries and all of the things that you need in order to implement this time blocking method with your family members including your husband so this is um, officially the first suggestion that i have after that we need to uh, just be sure that all of the family members will know about the promises that we have taken from them about the commitments that they have uh, for us in order to just be more successful in implementing this time blocking method we need to be a hundred percent sure that they remember what we have told them about our schedule about our uh, plan for the week so so in the first place we should not really expect them to remember all of the things that we have told them in the family meeting or any uh, any other uh, occasion that we have used in order to tell them about our schedule so what should we do uh this is where the next suggestion of me comes up you know the suggestion of having a communication board communication board can be a simple piece of paper that sticks on your refrigerator and you can uh, just uh, write down your expectations write down what for example your husband have promised you for the week take for example the time that your husband for example uh, promises you to take care of the children on Monday for example from 4 to 6 p.m. so you need to write down this promise on a piece of paper and then you need to put it somewhere that all of the family members uh, see that, pa that paper that board and in this way you can communicate with them more you can be um, even more confident that they will do what they have committed to do so this is another suggestion but you know all in all after doing all of these things i mean planning together uh, maybe in the form of family meeting or anything and then having communication board in order to remind them all of the points that you have driven in, in your family meeting for making a successful weekly schedule for you you need to be patient just be a hundred percent sure that this process is so gradual so you need to take small steps if this week something happens that it deteriorates i mean your plan doesn't go well it doesn't really matter you should do uh, something better for the for the next week and you should just um, i mean and you should have and after a while after doing uh, some after doing these steps uh, for some weeks you will have a lot of lessons learned so based on them you can maybe manage your time in a better way maybe plan for your week in a better rational uh, i mean way and in this way you will uh, be in the path of success in your time management in your uh, plannings and every stuff so uh, let's wrap it up together you need to plan together in order to trigger collaboration among the family members especially your partner uh, so you can do it uh, for example in a kind of session of planning or you can do it in a family meeting I recommend you have a family meeting with all of the family members make it fun and interesting for all of them and then uh, you can plan together so in this way they will get to know about your boundaries your expectations and in this way you have a higher chance in succeeding in this schedule and the next uh, suggestion was having a communication board in order to be more confident about their level of commitment to the boundaries that you have set to, to everything that you have talked about in the family meeting. And at the end, I told you that you need to be patient because it is a kind of gradual process. Every small step is a win. So uh, just be patient. Don't get really disappointed. Don't get disappointed. And please, please be part of a like-minded community. Mama Nest can be that community for you in order to stay motivated. So I have also an offer for you being part of the Mama Best Club, which is a kind of weekly session. We 
offer the challenges of planning and uh, implementing your plans on a weekly basis we audit your planner we audit your plan for the week so that can be a kind of uh, success factor for you too i hope that uh, this replication could help you in some way in order to get your answer so if you have any other question you can uh, pop on uh, our website and you can ask me don't hesitate if you have any question i'm more than ready to answer you so i hope that this was helpful for all of you wish you the best and good day thanks for listening to the momentous podcast if you enjoyed today's episode please subscribe that way you'll receive fresh episodes every week did you know that together we can change the forgetting culture of caring and sharing and prove that we care for each other and ourselves just you need to head over to itunes subscribe and then leave a positive review so that many more women can benefit the second way is to take a screenshot of this very episode tag me at momentous official and go share it in your instagram stories I truly look forward to connecting with you. So stay tuned.